Hello, and welcome to a short example video of a new feature for spawning method. Uh, this is the new spline spawning method, which currently I have set up to work with spawn area. Uh, next step will be to get it also working for wave spawners. I had that partially in, but it's not completely working yet. And also want to add the capability for uh, spawns to be attached and follow a spline, which I'm not sure if it's going to, how much automation there's going to be there, but I'll, I'll do as much as I can. All right, the first thing so I'm going to do here is just point out that I had originally created this spawn area for a coin trail where I had coins at different points along this trail. And I've removed that currently, uh, got rid of all the points, and I'm going to replace it with a spine, spline, sorry. So for Dream Tech, I need to go into 3D Object, Spline Computer. We'll just leave the name like that. We're going to go into Adding Points. We're going to uh, select Surface Mode, which is what I've, I've already set it to that. And Default Surface Mask. So the terrain is along the default surface mask, so are most other objects. So now I'm just going to start clicking points along the surface. Trying to keep them around the trail as much as I can. Make this trail all the way over to this, uh, this ruins. And I'll end that. And all I have to do now is add a DreamTech spline component to it. This is the interface to Soling Spawner. And then I'm going to drag the spline into the reference here. I'm selecting distribution mode, which means it's just going to evenly distribute them along the spline. Go ahead and save that and run it. Yeah, there's our coins along the trail. That's it. Thanks for watching.